Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Werner, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Regiscan and also to troubleshoot some of the issues that sometimes arise. Just as a background, the purpose of the Regiscan is to measure your nocturnal erections. Why this is important is that it gives us a bird's eye view in terms of what's happening with your ability to get the blood into the penis and to trap it. Uh, you will use this on three nights. Ideally, they're consecutive nights. The reason is that uh, you may not sleep so well the first night, and you'll, of course, be tired after that um, and be able to sleep. We don't expect you to get a normal night's sleep, um, but please try to use it for as many hours as you can for each one of the evenings. The first step is pretty straightforward. You're going to load it up with batteries. Uh, we will give you six 9-volt batteries, and it uses two each night. Uh, you can keep them. You'll have most of the charge. We just don't want you to run out. Then you put the cover onto the battery. Okay. The next step is to put the strap around your thigh because the device is going to fit into the strap. Okay. Now let's show you how the loops work. The loops are labeled. You're going to put one around the base of your penis and one around the tip of your penis. And basically the way they start out is they're pretty wide. They're bigger than me, you, really anyone in history. Okay. If you need to uh, get the loops bigger, then what you're going to do is you're going to hold the space where it connects in. Okay. So, and you're going to not, you try not to pop that. You're going to hold that junction and then gently, gently expand the loop. Okay. So you put this one around, around the base and this one around the head. And then you're going to press the on off button to turn it on. This is right before you're ready to go to sleep. If it was me, I would uh, do this about a half an hour before you're ready to actually fall asleep, go into bed, and just get used to it so that it doesn't interrupt uh, your falling asleep. So you put it on, you're going to hold them in position, you press the button, and they're going to slowly squeeze down until they get a little bit tight, and then they're going to relax. So that keeps them in position around the, right behind the head of the penis and uh, right at the base. And then throughout the night, they're going to squeeze and let go, squeeze and let go, squeeze and let go. So it is annoying, uh, but it's going to record in here uh, how rigid your penis is and how thick it is. So we're going to get a readout uh, of four bars of information for each night that you're doing that. Um, in the morning, you turn off the device, um, and then the next night when you're ready to go to bed, you put in new batteries and do the same thing. Um, and then when you come in, you're going to come in early to your appointment, please, about 10, 15 minutes. We will download this information and then based on that, do our next testing. And we will have learned a lot about the ability of the penis to get and hold the blood. Now let's talk about common things that can happen. If you need to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, that's fine. You can actually turn off the machine. I would leave the loops on and you would just urinate through it. If you turn the machine off for more than 20 minutes, as expensive uh, and sophisticated as it is, it then thinks it's the next night and you will actually lose the ability to do three nights. Again, if there's any problem in the middle of this process, you can bring the device in. We will download the information that you have and set it up for you again. One of the most common problems is that you wake up in the morning and the loop has popped. The way this works is there is a wire gauge that goes through a disposable uh, sheath and then this gets plugged in to the, the port here completing the loop. It has an automatic pop-off system. The purpose is so that you don't guillotine your penis, right? We don't want it to be unlimited tight. But if you wake up and it's like this, you will be wondering, well, how do I set it up again? Okay. So this is an important thing to learn because uh, this is the call that we get the most. So what you're going to do first is you're going to unscrew this and you will see that you then have this wire. And this is basically, get, you want to get the wire back through the sheath. It's basically like getting a string back into your bathing suit when it gets pulled out. Okay, You, have to, you need a guide. So we will have given you the guides that we used originally to get it through. You will put this on the edge and make it tight so it doesn't fall off. And that can take you a little bit of time. Let's try the other edge. Okay. 
and then you're going to string it through. So you're going to use that as the guide. It's going to pop out the other side. And then you're going to string this through. Okay. Then you're going to screw this back on here. Remember the little L is or Y is sitting closest to the machine. Okay. Then you're going to gently pop that top through. Remove the wire, untwist this, and just push it in. And then you're ready to uh, start again. Uh, but it is not uncommon for that to happen. And of course, uh, it's a, it takes a little bit of finesse, but you should have no problem uh, restringing it.